Okay, hello you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I just took my hair out of the towel and brushed through it. I have been using Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. And it's supposed to be a, it's a 10 dupe. I have been enjoying it a lot, but the ends of my hair are so dry. And being a blonde, that's just what happens. And my hair is pretty long. I get my hair cut almost every time I go and get my hair done, which is every eight weeks. So I know that I'm cutting my hair regularly. It just, it gets really dry. So what I've been using on the ends, this is a little bit pricier, so I don't use it all over my hair or all over my head because I don't want to use it all up. It's the Kerastase Serum. I'll link it. And what I do is just take a little bit on my fingers and rub it in between my hands and then I just take it on the ends. And it really just helps with the dryness. And what's good about this leave-in is that you can use it on wet and dry hair. I've been really liking it for the ends. It can be pricey, so that's why I only use it on the ends of my hair and that will just help it last longer. But you can use it as a leave-in conditioner or all over if you want to. This is just what I've been using all over and then the other as the ends. And it just leaves your hair so soft. I feel like it just helps with the ends. So, yeah. It's my little dry hair tip. I'll link these products. Oh, not even showing it. I'll link these products down below. And um, yeah, now I'm gonna style my hair and blow dry it, probably straighten it and get ready. Okay, it just got all ready for the day. I'm about to leave in the next 30 or so minutes to go get a new passport photo taken. My passport expired at the beginning of this year, so I needed to get a new one anyways, but I'm also taking a really fun, exciting trip this summer. I'll obviously be vlogging it, but it's not for four months, so it's way ahead. I just can't wait. So I'll obviously bring you guys along, and as the trip gets closer, I'll just fill you guys in on more details, but I need to get a new passport photo taken first. The passport photo that I have is from 2012 and it's just before anything. I was 17 years old and I turned 27 this year. So it's 10 years ago. <laughs> so you can only imagine everything. But um, so I just need to get a new photo taken and then send that off to get that taken care of this next week. And that's about it for the day. Tonight I'm going to dinner with Taylor and Maya, so I'm really excited. We're going to Agave, and I feel like the past few weekends and vlogs, I've just been going to Mexican restaurants. It is one of my favorite foods, like favorite, favorite, favorite foods. I can eat Mexican food literally all the time. So we're going to Agave Azul again. I just went with Maya a few weekends ago, but we're going together as a group, and I'm really excited because can always just go for some agave as well. I'm so excited. But I'm just doing some laundry right now. I need to put that stuff away. And then we'll go take this photo. So hopefully it turns out good. I just did simple makeup and I straightened my hair because I think you have to put your hair behind your ears anyway. So I was like, let's just do straight hair. So that's what we did. Um, so I'm just putting away some my clothes this on the bed now um sorry about the workout stuff right there last weekend i showed a pair of shoes that i got let me let me grab them here are the shoes that i got i shared in my last vlog they're so good i love this green color i'm just obsessed so i got some socks for those i got them off amazon they're just the hanes socks they're just little ankle socks and i got i don't remember how many came in this pack but i got them in white and I got them in black and I'm wearing the black right now, but they're just these little ankle socks. I can link them, but I got them to wear with these shoes and yeah, I got the black pair to wear with them as well. So I wanted to share that. 
So I'm just gonna put some of my clothes away and then we'll go get this passport photo taken really quick and then we'll come back and just chill for the day. I just wanna say, passport photos have changed, like the requirements for them have changed. 10 years ago, you couldn't wear jewelry and you had to show at least one ear or both ears and one of my photos my hair is literally pinned back on this side to show this ear and you couldn't have any earrings then i remember taking out my earrings and you smiled this year hair can be in front doesn't matter but you can't smile and it's head on and there's nothing that i despise more than taking a head-on photo and then adding no facial expression I could never go to jail and have a mugshot circling the internet because of how bad this photo is and the girl was like so nice she was so nice but I didn't want to ask to take a photo for a third time Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Just got home from getting my lovely passport photo taken. And I have something that I wanna share with you guys that I'm so excited to share with you today. And I have shared this before in the past and actually a lot in the past. And I'm so excited to be sharing it with you guys today. With summer approaching, going to the beach, hanging out at the pool, being outside in the sun, and just sweating. I am an avid gym goer, so this is something that just keeps me feeling my best. So this is Liquid IV. I'm sure you guys have seen Liquid IV all over the internet. I'm sure you know of people that drink it, take it. I have been drinking this for over a year. I swear by liquid IV and electrolyte packets. They are incredible. The issue with me is I drink a ton of water. I drink about a gallon of water a day. I work out, but with sweating and peeing, you can sweat out the minerals that your body has and you need to replenish them. See, I drink a lot of water, but I still get dehydrated and I still wake up with headaches and it's because i need those minerals replenished this is a way to replenish those minerals that you sweat out pee out <laughs> it's funny that i'm saying this but it is so true this is a way to replenish those minerals in your body and make you feel hydrated and better it's two to three times more hydrating than water alone three times the electrolytes five essential vitamins and great taste. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I do have a discount code. Um, I will put it on the screen. It gets you 25% off your liquid IV purchase. It is Lore Colvin. So I will link it down below. I'll also put the code down below as well, but I'm super excited. I got three new flavors. My favorite flavor is the lemon lime. It tastes like a yellow Gatorade, which I love. So my favorite flavor is the lemon lime. I actually didn't try any other flavor other than lemon lime until now because I'm such a creature of habit. So when I find something I like, I just stick to it. Like why would I switch out something that I like? I already dug into this one because I needed it for this week of workouts. But another thing that I love about Liquid ID is I use them for traveling hangovers because, you know, you're dehydrated. And what's great is for out in the sun and like pool days, beach days, just pour one of these in a cup of water, a Yeti of water, and you're good and you're hydrated. It's easy to be out in the sun and be out the beach and getting dehydrated. So with these, it makes it super easy to kind of not get dehydrated and make sure making sure that while you're out in the sun sweating you're replenishing those electrolytes that you are losing so one of the flavors that i got which i've already dug into is watermelon i've tried this one it's so good 
So lemon lime, watermelon. This one I'm actually gonna try right now because I feel like I need some extra hydration. I got the pina colada flavor. So I'm gonna try this one. And then I also got the acai dairy. So let's try the pina colada flavor. Oh my gosh. It's almost like you need to be out at the beach with this water. That's how good it tastes. It literally tastes exactly like a pina colada. Not too overpowering, not too like sugary tasting or too intense. It is so good. Okay, it's been a little bit. I took a nap actually on the couch for an hour while it rained. It was nice. I never nap. I'm not a napper but I felt really tired and I needed it, so I took a nap. It's 6.30, I'm about to leave to go meet Maya and Taylor at Agave Azul. We're doing comfy for dinner, which is nice. So I'm wearing the same sweatshirt. I just tucked it up underneath my bra. It's really long, so I got it in a large because I wanted it to fit long and cover my butt. So I'm just, tucking it underneath my little sports bra. Okay, I'll try and fix it before I leave. But just Lululemon leggings, and then Christian got me these Yeezy slides as like an early four year anniversary gift. And I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. Trust me, when I first saw them, I hated them. But I literally love them. They're so comfortable. Here's the little details. I have really small feet, so I got them in a size five. So I'm just wearing them with the socks that I mentioned earlier from Amazon, just some ankle socks. And this is the fit for Agave. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna leave right now. We're gonna go get some Mexican food. Okay, just got dressed. Christian and I are going to a, like a little coffee shop. I'm wearing this aloe yoga little crop, Lululemon biker shorts. I'm wearing my new vintage green dunks with little white ankle socks. Hair in a clip. Never tried this place. It's called Light on the Sugar. So I'm excited and it's super cute in there as well. Yeah, let's go. extra bedroom and Christian and I just got back a little bit ago from the cutest coffee or cafe because it had bakery treats it had matcha it had teas it had coffee lattes it was just everything and more and it was so cute on the inside it's called light on the sugar and it's located in Winter Park literally so 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 good 
and the atmosphere is just a 10 out of 10 as well so when you go somewhere and the food's good and the atmosphere is good it's like perfect but Anyways, it's around 3.30. I need to go run some errands. I need to go just pick up some stuff from CVS, like a prescription, toothpaste, random stuff like that. And then I need to go to Ulta and get more self-tanner. And then go to the grocery store and just pick up some like random dinner sides that we need for the week and some eggs. But um, today, I guess I can celebrate me and my job. I just hit three years today at my company and it's been such a quick three years if you guys didn't know this is kind of like my first big girl job out of college is my current job so I usually stick with jobs like a really long time um, I'm not one to job hop I love to grow with a company and really just like be with them my job before this, I worked at a restaurant. I worked at Carava's Italian Grill and um, I worked there for two and a half years. So um, this is like my first big girl job out of college and I just hit my three year anniversary with the company today. So, and I do have to say, I have to applaud myself because um, I don't know, I'm just like proud of myself for this, but over the past three years I have never called out of work I've never called in sick I've showed up every single day to work even during COVID I never worked a day from home I never called out I have always shown up to work and tried to be a hundred percent there and put a hundred percent into my job so I feel like I want to recognize myself and applaud myself for that because I feel like that's a big deal. I don't know. Like, I'm proud of myself for always showing up and being reliable and consistent. And I hope my company knows that I'm, like, such a reliable person. So I just want to applaud myself for that because um, I'm proud of myself. It just shows dedication to my company and commitment. So, um, this weekend I've been really relaxing, trying to relax because I've been like kind of overstimulating myself and it's my fault. I'm such a go, go, go person and like always trying to do something, fill my time with something, always trying to think of some way that I can be productive and like what I can accomplish and what I can do. And that's just how I'm programmed. So... Sometimes it's hard to take a step back and chill and calm down and not just, you know. So <laughs> I'm try I've been trying to like chill and relax because I do feel really overstimulated today and I did yesterday and just recently. I've just been going through some stuff and um, I'll eventually share with you guys like what I've been doing and what I've been up to and like what I've just been dealing with and um, stuff like that. It's just, it's just a lot right now and I don't know. I'm trying to be just positive and I'm just very grateful for everything that I do have and the people that I have and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll share more though. But anyways, I did just want to chat with you guys because I haven't really talked to you guys today, but um, I need to go run some errands. I just wanted to do a quick floor chat and let you know that if you live in Orlando, you need to go to Light on the Sugar Cafe. Took some photos there and they turned out really cute and I posted them on my Instagram, which you should totally follow me on. I'm trying to be active on there but I mean it's hard you can't I mean I can't do it all like I've said before I can't do it all um working full-time and like trying to just be present and active on social media is really hard when you're like have tons of stuff going on but I will link my Instagram down below and I'll also put it on the screen definitely check it out you can go ahead and follow me if you wish um, I try to post in real time. I definitely post more on the weekends because I am more free and available too. So let's go run some errands. I think I'm going to go to CVS first and then Ulta and then Publix. So 
Let's go. I just got home from running my errands, got some lotion, toothpaste. I ended up at Ulta right after Publix. I picked up more of my self tanner. I used the Bally Body, it's not the right way. I used the Bally Body One Hour Express and I leave it on for three hours. I talked about it before. I love this stuff. And then I needed more dry shampoo, so I just used the Batiste tropical scent dry shampoo and then i really wanted a kombucha from Publix, so i got this health aid cayenne cleanse kombucha it really spoke to me i usually use or i usually drink the gt's kombucha if i were to get one i haven't really tried a lot of the health aid ones so i definitely haven't tried the cayenne cleanse before Oh, it's good. It's really good. Mmm. You want to try this? Someone drink this. Hang out. Mm -hmm. 